We're live, the home of the Chicago Bulls, the United Center. And now we take a brief check of the matchups. Our starting five for both teams. And as we take a long look here at Kawhi Leonard, guys, what's your thought on him? Yeah, he's a terror in the passing lanes, too. Loves to lay back a bit, kind of play possum, anticipate, and then dash out and pick off those careless passes. And you know what? He's like a tank when he's coming down the lane. Lay into him as hard as you can. You're not going to be able to knock him off balance. Looking at Chicago, they want to turn it around after that loss to the Spurs. And just couldn't finish strong. They took a four-point loss in that one. Boy, this was an up-and-down affair. I mean, back and forth. I thought they had a very competitive outing, but just ran out of gas towards the end. The pace was furious. That was an exciting game, wasn't it? That was so much fun to watch. I'd like to see that kind of basketball every night. We always like to get that first lead of the game. Yeah, you know, Steve, a good way to set the tone early on there. Maravich kicks to Finley. Pope loose. And here we go, the Bulls fast break. Miller, the pass to Thompson. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Thompson's got six. Frazier outside. Here's Maravich. Nails the 16-footer. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Miller outside. And Miller off a bit from Chamberlain. And there's the call on Adrian. That's his first foul. That's a quick foul to pick up here in the opening quarter. Passes it to Thompson. Plenty of space. And the Bulls take on two more. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. Frazier kicks to Randall. Working on Smith. Frazier with it. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. And he played great at the defensive end of the floor, too, Kevin. They had a couple of important block shots in that game, so good all-around effort. And here's Miller following the three from Finley. Miller kicks to Leonard. Right side Leonard. A second chance effort. Rejected by Frazier. Maravich dishes to Frazier. Back to Maravich. Pass to Gilmore. Misses off the right iron. Great defense there. You really have to challenge him at that range. Leonard, the pass to Miller. Puts up a three. And the officials call over the back. A little too aggressive there. Obviously, he's not afraid of physical play, but he still needs to play in control. And he definitely wasn't in control that time. Everybody in the building knew it was an over-the-back call. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, I spoke with the head coach of the Bulls. On his mind, the difficult task of defending Zach Randolph. He said, Randolph's especially tough because he's not only a go-to scorer on the low block and the pinch post, but also a guy who can pick up a lot of second-chance points with his work on the glass. He's a 20-10 and 10 double-double guy for a reason. We'll have our hands full trying to slow him down. Guys, back to you. Thanks again, Doris. Is Frazier averaging 13 points a contest? He passes to Finley. Back to Frazier. The pass to Finley. Lock at six. No luck, so the Bulls will take it the other way. The Heat beat them last time when these two teams met down in South Florida. Well, they got beat up the last time they saw these guys. You know, they were in foul trouble all game. I, I think they had a beef with the officiating, but whatever it was, they've got to avoid that same issue this time around. Al Maravich. Kawhi Leonard missing from long range. Maravich kicks to Finn. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And a brief look while we had the chance of a few of the hottest big men in the NBA. The leaders among centers and power forwards in field goal percentage during the last month. We take a look at the A-train. Leading the league in field goal percentage, he always gets good looks. Boy, he's just a dominant presence in the low post. He gets so many good looks because he works so hard to get into good position down low before he actually catches the ball. 
and I like the way his game is adaptable based on what the defense is showing. I mean, he'll change it up from game to game as long as he's still able to get high percentage shots. You know, that putback's about as easy as it's going to get. You, you have to put a body on someone down there. Well, no box out. That's the result you get right there. Thompson for the triple. It's hauled in by Frazier. And to continue, Clark, what Steve was talking about, the whistle for... Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. What a huge play. The rim rattler. Just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Yeah, that is showtime stuff right there. Major highlight reel material. Now, here is Miller. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change... to end the drought. Here's Smith. Nice work on the board. Staying off with the basket. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and to get the putback. And off a screen on Thompson. Now Finley. He had a 15-point outing in the last game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. And here's Miller. Back to Chamberlain. They get it again. Leonard rejected by Maravich. Tell you what, boy, it's hard to watch when the guy gets good shots and misses them. He's missed everything this quarter. And a foul caught on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. And Frazier drops them both. Well, it was Miami winning their last game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. You know, their percentage from long range that game was off the charts. It seemed like every time the home crowd got going, they just took the wind out of their sails with a, another three-point barrage. Yeah, those bombs were really falling. The Bulls shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. The Heat making a switch here. Richardson's checked in, and the second free throw, good. For Miami, they've gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. There's the pick. On the wing, Jason Richardson. But they'll get another chance. Goes back up. Stolen by Thompson. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Frazier. Leonard dishes to Miller. Shot clock at six. Baseline Jenny on the way, and he drops that one in. This is great stuff, guys. You can tell he's hurting, but he continues to play well. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. It's like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting and uh, wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the time out if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about it. Miami trailing. Now, here's Frazier. Here's Finley. Here's Randolph. No luck. Excellent defense there from Smith. Thompson from long range. It's good the assist that time from Smith. Thompson's got 12 in the game. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Frazier outside. Passes to Finley. Got a piece of it. Shot from free throw range. And the shot is good. He's got nine. And his shots are dropping right now. This quarter has been very kind to him. Addition out to Lennon. From downtown. It's rebounded by Gilmore. He can't get anything to drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. It's good on the putback. A-Train's got his second basket of the night. Excellent timing on that tip in. That's something that makes him so good. I mean, just great timing in the air around the basket. Again. Thompson off the pit for Miller. Screen by Smith. Rejected by Gilmore. Now Finley. He's got nine. Pass to Gilmore. Now Finley. Guarded by Chamberlain. Frazier outside. And the basket, Finley. 
and count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. This seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. That's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. And Miami going with a whole new group out there. The Bulls trail by three. Here's lights out. His last outing, he had eight points. Williams counts. He's covered by Boozer. Gets it to go. Miami's gone 102 from long range in the first quarter. Lambeer's screen. Anderson outside. Rain Man passes to Lambeer. On the mark with the 15 footer. Lambeer's got his first basket of the night. Boy, he really used his height there. He sure did, Steve. I mean, a nice touch on that shot. Here's the screen. He feeds it to Stiakovic. Counts. And that one is hammered home. Rudely thrown down after the offensive rebound. He is wrapped up now. He is your ride, and you figure this team might come down to a few of those other players. Always does, Kevin. I wouldn't doubt it. Seems like that kind of a contest tonight. And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks, just to get you some open looks like that one. Passes it to four. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. Yeah, and even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the rest of the game. Richardson, he started by... Oh, how about that basketball, that man? Beautiful. Wow. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying hard to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark? Well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense. That's for sure. Here's Finley after the made shot from Williams. Anderson outside. Five to shoot. Who's shot is blocked. Williams with the ball. Averaging eight points a game. Offensive rebound. Richardson with it. Now guarded by Stiankovic. Back to Anderson. Three-pointer. Can't get it to go. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Here's Floyd. And he drops in the way up off the glass. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And that's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward, Clark. Anderson kicks to Richardson. Pass to Finley. Feeds it to Anderson. He passes to Finley. Launches it. Chicago grabs the miss. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. Yeah, not enough defensive coverage there to prevent him from firing that time, but uh, yeah, I think if he's open, he's got to let that thing fly. Bulls have gone two for three at the foul line in this one. Yeah, this is a very good free throw shooting team, guys. I mean, you look at the numbers, impressive. Guys, that says a lot about the poise of this team. I mean, they've been so calm, cool, and consistent at the stripe this year. I mean, that's impressive. Anderson kicks to Richardson. Anderson is screen on Stojakovic. Dishes it to Boozer. And it's off the back rim. No good. i tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. It's all tied in Chicago. The second quarter coming up right after this break. So Tune in next Wednesday night, December. And welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go. Having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And Steve and Clark and I are refreshed and ready to go here as well. Looking at what we've seen for the Bulls, what do you guys think? I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better way to get easy buckets than through fast breaks. 
And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. The franchise is out there with Maravich. And it's Richardson, and there's Bill Lane Beal. And it's Boozer in at the fourth. The Bulls shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Now the pass to Knowles. Chance there to take the lead, missing. Heat shooting at 48% from the fourth. Looking good. Richardson, that's a two-pointer. Richardson missing again. You really don't want to see him missing those mid-range shots, but when he's open, he's got to shoot. The open shot, Williams releases from the wing and kills it. Williams has got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Bulls. Here's Francis. Miami no good on that time either. Well, don't give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Williams with the ball, now guarded by Richardson. And when it comes to his defense, guys, he's fun to watch. He's great at sensing a ball handler's next move and then making his own move to counter. Very true, Steve. I mean, he's also one of those guys who doesn't take long at all to get on a roll offensively. He's a fun player to watch when he gets hot. Some changes for Chicago. Chamberlain comes in for Nolls. And it's Smith in for James Worthy. That's a familiar sight. He hardly ever wastes his chances at the line. Passes in regularly. Francis passes to Boozer. Offensive rebound. Maravich. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. Oh, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Maravich with the steal. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Chamberlain with the block. Last break, here comes Chicago. Now that's how to finish the break. Come on with this. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Chicago. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. Yeah, I do too, and I, I think they're also getting some good looks in transition, doing a nice job of running the floor. And Miami has possession. The Bulls getting the bucket. Maravich. Maravich missing again. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense, and he missed it. And it's Stojakovic missing. The Heat trail by four. Left side, Boozer. Tries from 16. Jump shot is good that time. Boozer's got his first bucket of the night. You know, that part of the floor, guys, is more or less his real sweet spot, right in his wheelhouse. Floyd passes to Chamberlain. That's good. Chamberlain got his second basket of the night. He's such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Here's the franchise. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Maravich, good. The Bulls have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. It's Williams with the drive. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. What an asset to a team. When you've got big men who can knock down free throws, Look here at the top centers and power forwards in terms of free throw percentage this season. Take a look at Boozer, second in the NBA. He's so great from the line. Well, a lot of these big men take the confidence they have in the paint straight to the free throw line. Yep, some of them do that. Exactly, and we can see the reason why in those numbers. In general, the composure of all those players show up at the free throw line. Catching up on the changes with Miami. A train, he's checked in for Lambeer. Zach Randolph is subbed in for Boozer. Here's Randolph. It's hauled in by Andre Miller. The Bulls leading by four. Here's Williams. And here's Maravich. He had 28 points in the win against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. And that kind of power move has become a trademark for him. For Miami, they have gone three for three at the line tonight. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Williams. And Chicago shooting 38% in the second quarter. Defensively, they look a little bit confused. Thompson outside. Thompson off the pick for Miller. Thompson with the bucket. Thompson's got 14 points for the game. Beautiful finger roll to cap head drive off. He knows how to finish with some flair and flavor, guys. Now here's Frazier. 
He's got six. He kicks to Maravich. And again, it's the Heat missing. The Bulls leading by four. He dishes it to Thompson. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. 17 points in the game. Now let's see if that triggers another explosion from, remember, he hit three three-pointers in the first quarter. I'm Tom Maravich. Right side, Maravich. Tipped away. Leonard with the steal. Makes the lead pass. It's stolen by Frazier. On the wing, Jason Richardson. Here's Randolph, and the layup's good off the glass. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. For Chicago, they've gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. And it's Miller penetrating. The feed to Thompson. Launches a three. Another three for Chicago. Well, as long as the threes keep dropping for him, he'll continue firing away. And they are dropping for him. What a game he's having from deep. Now here's Frazier. Richardson with the screen on Miller. And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltender. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Can you hear the, the crowd kind of murmuring? I don't think they agreed with the officials on that one. Steve, I tell you what, they're really letting them have it. Kicks it to Chamberlain. It's Chicago with another bucket. And they've set up countless buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Now here's Frazier. He's got eight. Here's A-Train. Pass to Maravich. Six to shoot. Makes it off the glass. Maravich has got six points in the quarter. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Let's take a look at the Bulls and see where they ranked over the last month in the NBA stats. Seventh in fewest turnovers per game. Ninth in steals. And they're in the top half of the league in free throw shooting as well. Pretty good, but they could certainly stand some improvement there. You know, they're a smart team. You talked about those few turnovers, and that's the number that really stands out to me when you go down that list of stats. Uh, they're smart. They don't take a lot of crazy gambles. They try to work the ball around the perimeter, get it inside when they can, and get the best shot every time down the field. A nice shot by Frazier. When they pulled up from mid-range, more often than not, they bury it. You know, that's not always the number one option, but if the defense gives that to you, you got to take it. Really left the one that's and the Bulls lead by seven. They brought up their three-point percentage this quarter. They're shooting it well right now. The defense may need to think about making some kind of adjustment to slow that down. Now, here is Maravich. He's got eight, and the shot is good. Now Thompson. And he lobs it up toward the rim. No hesitation at all on that alley. He saw his teammate with the path to the hoop, and bang, dropped it right up there for him. And he was ready for it, elevated it, made the catch. You saw the results. And I like the, the choice, making the conservative finish, making sure of the two points. Timeout called the Heat. Clay Johnson with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's been locked in from deep. They're giving him too much breathing room and definitely paying the price for it. Here's Randolph. Josh Smith pulls it in. Smith's got his seventh rebound here tonight. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. They're yeah, not giving up too many second chance opportunities, which is always important. And it's been one of the reasons they have the lead right now. Richardson, no luck. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start bearing some of those. And it's blocked by Randolph. Maravich dishes to Frazier. That ball, nice feed that time from Pete Maravich. Frazier's got eight here in the quarter. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Thompson with the bucket. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed. 
have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, and unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come. But Maravich takes to Frazier. Takes it from 10. No good. Good D by Miller. I think he shouldn't have forced that one. Instead, he should have passed it off. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. And as an 85% free throw shooter, his team has been able to count on him anytime he gets to the strike. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. Frazier, the pass to Richardson. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Taking a look at Miami. They hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. And of course, Chicago, five and a half games behind. You know, looking at Chicago, the thing with them is they haven't really established an identity for themselves as a team. They never have seemed to come up with a plan and, and stick to it for very long. They've been all over the place in, in terms of their identity. And I put that on the coaching staff more than anyone else, Clark. A coherent strategy has to be in place, or it's impossible to climb up the standings. And here's Miller after the three-pointer from Finley. Miller kicks to Smith with the fadeaway. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The Heat trail by eight. Back to Richardson. Good, and it's Frazier who picks up the assist. Frazier's got his fifth assist in this one. Miller outside. Back to Chamberlain. And that one's good. Chamberlain got six here in this quarter. I'll tell you what I love about him. His ability to finish even while absorbing contact. He is so strong. Even with defenders hanging all over him. He continues to finish at the basket. And I also can't get over how much energy he expends rebounding the basketball. He goes all out on the boards every single night. Here's Richardson following the basket made by Will Chamberlain. Finley. Hope they get it there. Second shot opportunity. It's hauled in by Smith. Smith's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Miller dishes to Leonard. Miller the pass to Thompson. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, Will Chamberlain in this one, he's got eight points and his two blocks have given them a lift defensively. Well, you have to protect the rim, Clark. You know that. And when you do that as well as he has today, it really bodes well for your team. A different look for Miami. Boozer comes in for Zach Randolph. And it's Anderson in for Jason Richardson. That one wide left. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Boy, I like the way he carved out just enough space to get his hands on the missed shot. And then rattle the rim on the putback. Mm -hmm, and the gap narrow. They're closing it fast. Well, that's the effort of a team ready to fight back into this game. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. For Chicago, they have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. Both free throws good for Miller. From half court, shot is off. And so that brings the first half to a close. Bulls lead by nine. Now, presented by Sprint. Good to have you here. This is 2K Sports, and the NBA season is starting to take shape. Chicago with the lead against Miami. Their great passing has been fun to watch, keeping the ball moving and picking apart that D. Klay Thompson has been tremendous in the first half. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch from the field, no question about it. And midway through, the Heat are still alive. Hard to find a lot to like about their performance so far. They'll need to pay much better attention in the second half to the details. The details. The Cobra hasn't been able to get it going. Not a lot of production to show for his minutes. They'll need him to play a lot stronger in the second half. Let's get things going with a look ahead to some games slated for later. 
It'll be the Golden State Warriors up against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Rivalry games are always a blast, and these fans are pumped for that one. That one gets started at 8 Eastern. And another game that's coming up, the, the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And now the third quarter, about to get going. Clay Thompson has been sensational. I know we've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. He had a great first half, just an explosive offensive display there. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had. He can usually keep it going for all four quarters. Chicago leading by nine. Chamberlain is out there with Smith. And there's Clay Thompson. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Miller in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. On the free throw, no good. The Heat trail by 11. And off the screen, here's Maravich. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Now at the moment here, let's take a look at our rookie leaderboard and who's putting up the most points per game. You take a look at the A-train. Among the league leaders, fourth in score. Well, he was one of those players who, coming into the league, you wondered how his talent would translate to the NBA game. Well, I'd say the transition has gone pretty well. No doubt about that, Steve. I mean, he's looked comfortable and confident since the first day he stepped onto an NBA court. He's had some big games for him. Six on the shot clock. Chamberlain got it. Good job in the low post. Chamberlain got 13. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Maravich against Miller. A train the pass to Maravich. There's the dish to Randolph. Frazier outside. Finley. Good, and it's Frazier who picks up the assist. Frazier's got his sixth assist on the night. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Now, here is Miller, averaging nine points per contact. Thompson misses. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. The kick out to Frazier. Back to Maravich. Chamberlain with the block. Thompson right side. And it's Smith finishing it off. Well, he won that battle, and in general, they're winning most of the battles tonight. Well, those are some very easy points if you can get them. Well, and like Clark said, they have been getting them, not necessarily all on put-back dunks, but a lot of second-chance opportunities. Here is Maravich, following the score by Josh Smith, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free-throw line. So we'll see Pete Maravich go to the free-throw line here. That one on Thompson. The Heat shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Free throw no good for Maravich. Well, they've only got a slight edge in rebounding when you look at the numbers, but it certainly feels a lot bigger than it is. Well, the score has a lot to do with that. But just based on that, you'd think the rebounding gap would be huge. It is Frazier following the basket by Andre Miller. And the shot is good. Maravich has got 14. Tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. Miller kicks to Leonard. Smith sets the pick for Leonard. Thompson dishes to Smith. Miami grabs the miss. A train's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Maravich against Smith. No good for Maravich. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. A bad bucket in and no time at all. And that's 12 points for Kawhi Leonard. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. And the Heat call time here. Clay Johnson with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's definitely rolling offensively. You might not be able to stop him. But you've got to find a way to contain him. And a moment to check out Clay Thompson here. Going well for him this season. Fifth in free throw percentage. And he's been locked in from behind the arc, guys. He's in the top 20 in the NBA in three-point field goal percentage. I want to take a minute here to get in a quick word about his outstanding free throw percentage. I mean, 
you can see how he's brimming with confidence at that line. Thompson with the block. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. That's good. It's Miller with the assist. Thompson's got 26 points. They set the pick. Frazier outside. Leads him in there. Outside, Maravich. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And here's what the Chicago Bulls schedule is looking like. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. He's got 12. Maravich kicks to Frazier. Finley. To end the run. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. We knew what was going to happen with that one when he got his hands on it. Yeah, you know, if the ball comes to him off the offensive boards, Clark, it's going to go back down hard. It's amazing how many points he salvages for his team. Chamberlain's shot is off. The Heat trail by 17. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. And a moment to check out Miami, who they've got coming up. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. Chicago has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Miller kicks to Smith. Back to Miller. Six to shoot. Thompson outside. Jacks up a three. And it's Miami with the rebound. This touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Here's Maravich, and he wheels that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. The Bulls leading by 15. Miller outside. Chamberlain defended by Gilmore. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Chamberlain got 15. Well, I'm impressed with the determination he showed right there, getting himself in a good position under the glass. Did his work early then. Yeah, with the presence of mind, know just where the rebound was going to go to. And then the nifty touch to tip it in. That was beautiful. Now a timeout called by Miami. Yeah, and guys, I think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout. Just kind of make a couple of adjustments, get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Bill Lambeer's check in for Adrian. And he's not off course by the D. The foul call. He'll shoot free throws. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. These long-range shots look like layups out there, guys. Something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's, um, that's a mark of a good club. Good on both. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Williams kicks to Chamberlain. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That's on Bill and Bill. They've got to bring the double team on him. Yeah, I, I would have expected to see that already, Clark. And that one misses. The Heat trail by 17. Frazier outside. He feeds it to Randolph. Working on Smith. Nice shot by Randall. Miller with the ball. He's got six. Outside Leonard. Passes it to Chamberlain. Miller. Just five to shoot. The finger roll finish at the back. Miller's got four points in the quarter. For Miami, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Pass 
Smith Finley. And the foul called on Andre Miller. That's foul number two for him. A train, he's checked in for Miami. And there's the pass to Finley. Here's the franchise. Leonard with the steal. Here's Williams. There's the block. Here's Finley. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Some really terrific numbers for Rain Man. He has 20 points, and he's playing three three-point bombs so far. I'll tell you what, he should not hesitate to keep firing from out there because he's got the touch tonight. Maravich, he's checked in for Frazier. The Bulls leading by 15. Feeds to Chamberlain. Balls knocked loose. Maravich with the steal. Francis passes to Finley. Dishes it to Lambeer. Tries from 16. Hey, yeah, defender draped all over. Not really the best shot there. Well, not the shot you hope for when it's well contested like that. Williams kicks to Leonard. He dishes it to Chamberlain. Like it six. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. And Finley gets it to go. Late reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. Now here's Williams. Eight points for him. Chamberlain with a screen on Maravich. Here's Williams. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Williams has got 10. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the van. The defense has to make an adjustment. They've got to string together some stops, or at the very least, try to force this team into some bad shots. And then Lambeer with the dunk. You know, he can be a little awkward with the ball sometimes when it's in his hands, but not that time. Why do you think it is we don't see more of those out of him, Steve? I don't know. I mean, he's certainly got the size. He just lacks the confidence, I think, sometimes near the basket. Counts is checked in for the Bulls. Clay Thompson comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Bulls making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. Maravich against Thompson. Stolen by Thompson. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal the feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And, and guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And Miami making a change here. Frazier's checked in. Here's A-Train. He has six. The franchise. He passes it to Lambeer. Just five on the clock. 11 feet away. And that one's good. Lambeer's got seven points here in this quarter. The Bulls leading by 13. Miller outside. Thompson inside the line. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Well, if anything, Thompson has been an even better shooter in the pros than he was in college. And maybe because people aren't focused on him as much offensively. But he has a beautiful stroke, and he's a dead eye from the three-point line. But Steve, even when he's closely guarded, he has the confidence and focus to knock it down. Here's the franchise after the made shot from Clay Thompson. From the arc, they get it back. Gilmore shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. A train's got eight points. Miller outside with the lead pass. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Frazier outside. Maravich with a screen on Miller. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go. The Bulls first break. Thompson with the ball. Second chance shot and blocked. Frazier against Leonard. No good for Maravich. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Chamberlain controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Chamberlain got 19 points. And as hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Lambeer with a screen on Leonard. 
Lambeer a screen. Frazier kicks to Lambeer. Lots of room. Here's Francis. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Well executed possession. They controlled the shot. Nicely done. Back to Miller. Outside Leonard. Chamberlain defended by Gilmore. From 13. And again, Will Chamberlain. Chamberlain got 12 points in just the second half. He is really put his foot on the pedal this quarter, doing a tremendous job leading their offense. Outside, Maravich. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. He's 0-1 from the line, missing on his first trip. He misses the free throw. But well, he's making a switch here. That one is no good. Usually, free throws are a formality for him. And for the most part today, they have been. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make... Tune in next Tuesday night, December 13th, the Memphis Grizzlies take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. The Bulls leading by 15. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. They've got Rain Man. Frazier is out there with Anderson. Then there's Boozer, and it's Gilmore in its center. Grounds passes to Stojakovic. Shot clock at six. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Here's Finley, and here's Anderson for three. Good. Anderson's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Miami. The Bulls shooting at 50% in a decent group. Thompson passes the fourth. There's the pick. Back to Thompson. It's hauled in by Frazier. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but he's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Back to Anderson. Rebound by the Bulls. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Here's lights out, defended by Anderson. Here's Stojakovic. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. Free throw good, Stojakovic. The Heat making a switch here. And so he hits both. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Anderson gets the screen from Finley. Here's Maravich. Gets an open look and hits. The Bulls leading by 12. Miller up on top. He's covered by Anderson. Smith sets the pick for Miller. Off the screen, and he hits the jump shot. Great game for him. Double, double, down. 10 points and 13 assists. Pass to Finley. Boozer is free on Stojakovic. Rain Man passes to Boozer. It's taken away by Smith. Boozer, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's Miami now. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Finley, offensive rebound, and he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. Will Chamberlain picks one up. And free throw good from Boozer. And so Boozer nails both of them. Here's Lights out. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. He 
kicks it to Smith. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. And the Bulls lead by 14. The Heat have gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Maravich with it. Now defended by Floyd. Here's Finley. That ball. Nice feed that time from Pete Maravich. Maravich has got four assists in the game. The Bulls leading by 12. The feed now to Chamberlain. And the basket good. Chamberlain got 23. Well, this is what he does. He's shooting it well. He's scoring a lot of their points. Getting them in front. Anderson outside. Pass to Finley. And that one hits back iron. The Bulls have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. And the Heat making a change here. Randolph has checked in. The Heat trail by 14. Frazier with it. And it's Miller picking him up. Al Finley. Six on the shot clock. Kicks to Maravich. Pass to Frazier. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Yeah, baby. Move. The Bulls leading by 14. Miller kicks to Smith. Back to Miller. Six to shoot. Now the dish to Thompson. It's rebounded by Randolph. Randolph's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Frazier. And he converts the layup. That's Frazier. And here's Thompson. Miller outside. Stiakovich is screen on Frazier. Here's Miller off the left rim and out. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Frazier the pass to Finley. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. The Bulls leading by 12. Thompson dishes to Miller. He feeds it to Chamberlain. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And he can't get the first one. So he can't get either to fall. The Heat trail by 12. Now, here is Maravich. And a foul called on Andre Miller. And that'll be his third foul so far. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. And here are the Heat now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. From about 19 feet, Maravich, good. Maravich has got 10 points here in the second half. The Bulls leading by 10. Back to Miller. The pass to Stojakovic. Feeds it to Smith. Gives him the lead pass. Nice pass. Run into the rack perfectly for the lead. And it's six points for lights out. Miami's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Thompson against Maravich. Here's Finley. Rebound by the Bulls. Miller's got six rebounds here tonight. Thompson. Into Smith. Another shot, and it's blocked by Gilmore. 
The Heat trail by 12. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. No matter who it is, that kind of defense is not going to cut it. Chicago calls timeout. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. He told his team to keep looking for three-point opportunities, saying their perimeter defense isn't doing a good job getting out on our shooters. So let's keep firing away until they decide to guard us. Lock at six. Chamberlain gets the middle. Shoots off the step back. That's good on the jump shot. And the Bulls lead by 11. He's been much more effective in the second half than he was in the first. Here's Maravich. No good. And it's Chicago the other way. Miller, the pass to Chamberlain. Back to Miller. Dishes it to Stiankovic. Chamberlain defended by Gilmore. Hangs. And he, Chamberlain, trucks it in. Chamberlain got 25 points. See how he used the rim to protect the ball perfectly from the defender on that reverse. Frazier kicks to Maravich. Passes to Finley. There's three pointers off the mark. He's certainly not been at his best this quarter. And that's an understatement. And it's Miller penetrating. Stiankovic's screen on Frazier. Stiankovic against Frazier. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Chicago. Frazier with it. Gets the bucket. Frazier's got four points in the quarter. Boy, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Frazier. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Well, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Miller dishes to Chamberlain. Puts it up from 15, and that one's good. Chamberlain got 18 points just in the second half. The Heat trail by 11. And the Heat call time here. Kicks to Frazier. He passes to Gilmore. Chamberlain on him. Goes up on the wing. No good from Gilmore. Chicago leading by a left. Miller, the pass to Smith. Tips it. Great positioning on the putback. Chamberlain got eight points here in this quarter. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. That's fine, as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Puts it up from 12. The shot's good from Gilmore. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 12 rebounds. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Thompson dishes to Smith. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Miller kicks to Chamberlain. Defended by Gilmore. And so it looks like the Bulls will return possession here. One thirty left here in the fourth quarter. Thompson misses. Oh, he's just launching from the three-point line right now because I don't like his shot selection at all. Kept alive. He hangs, and it's good on the way up. That's 12 points for A-Train. I love it when a player like this shakes off a poor first half and comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. 
106 left in the fourth quarter. Thompson passes to Smith. The baseline jumper goes down. And the Bulls lead by 11. And assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Really an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Gets the bucket. Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. There's 48 seconds left in the game. Tries to keep it alive. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Boy, their defense making an impact here late, Kevin. And straight off the steel, Clark, a perfectly run fast break ends in a slam dunk. That could be a huge four-point swing in this game. Well, Josh Smith in this one, he's got ten rebounds and the one steal. He's been tough on the inside and displayed great vision with his passing, too. Yeah, he's giving them a little bit of everything, guys. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And they can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Miami's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Here's Maravich. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First one, boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he does get the second one, and that trims the lead to six. Here's Miller. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock, and he commits the intentional foul. And the first of two, no good, heartbreaker. That's good, going one of two from the line, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And the Heat call time here. They trail by seven. 27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Pass to Gilmore. Here's Finley. Guarded by Chamberlain. Here's Maravich. Maravich missing again. And here's Chamberlain. He dishes it to Miller. And so it's Chicago winning this one. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Brooke.